Um, TV One, Rasvi Hidena Jeevite. Nagana Jana Paura. News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali. A very good evening to you and a warm welcome to Newsline Live. We have, of course, started spot on time despite the many challenges that our country is facing, including power cuts, long lines of uh, queues for petrol, diesel, gas and uh, the hunt for essential items like milk powder and so on. Now then, um, I'd just like to, uh, before I introduce my guest, just like to say this to uh, all of us here. Uh, except for news first, everyone is asleep. The Ministry of Power and Energy has signed an MOU with India to give away three islands initially agreed to be developed with China and ADB to India. On top of that, part of the financing for this comes from the Indian credit line. Who asked for power projects on the credit line? That isn't a priority right now. I'm sure you agree. But nobody has intelligently assessed this and exposed it to the people. They just fly under the radar. At the end of the day, we have made another colossal geopolitical mistake that we will end up paying for at some point. Saying no to China is one thing, but giving it to India is quite another. We should have held on to these islands and invested in it when we had the funds and the uh, commitment to do it. We should have held on to these, honestly, and invested in it ourselves. Why should we give it away? Because after all, the profits thereafter are taken out of our country. No, it doesn't end up in the consolidated fund or to help our reserves at all. Not at all. Now, just like the tit for tat that happened when we gave Hamlan Toto to China, China will react to this slap. These are enormously important matters that need to be addressed. But everyone is asleep. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest this evening is Mr. Chanima Virakodi, um, Member of Parliament, of course, and uh, he's right here. Uh, Mr. Virakodi, good evening. Welcome to Newsline. Thank you for inviting me, Paras. <laughs> These islands, honestly, I everyone seems to be well, asleep. Uh, well, I, how I look at it is, it's very unfortunate. You know, this is a country where first female Prime Minister Sirima Bandar Raika was the head of the state. Hmm. During that time, we were very good with China on one hand, we were very good with India on the other hand, and we were well accepted with friends with the US and yeah. Europe. Yes. We maintain our another line policy mm. to what it can be and we gave le leadership to that but unfortunately we have now created a battlefield for long-standing friends to fight among them fight against each other mm. that is due to short-sighted foreign policy with ulterior motive and also due to conduct which has not been transparent. Now, even now, we, mem may, we as members of parliament, we are clueless about the so-called agreements that the government is said to have signed. Yeah. Not only about that, let's take the tank farm. I mean, we must allow investment to come into the country. Mm. There is no two words about it. Mm. 
whether it is an Indian investment or Chinese investment or British investment or US investment. As long as an investment. As investment. long as it is an investment that comes into the country in a transparent manner, which is which can be explained politically, legally to the general public of Sri Lanka, it is certainly welcome. But it is so unfortunate. Yeah. Now look at the look at the tank farm agreement that we entered into. Yeah. We say, oh, we have got fifty one percent and they have give they were given forty nine percent. So if our investment simple logic is as per prevailing laws in Sri Lanka yeah. and international commercial laws. Yeah. If you get into a joint venture, yeah. where fifty one percent is held by Sri Lanka, which is the land, yeah. value of the land yeah. and the ex existing standing tanks. Yeah. Well, the other party that is given, that claims to have got 49% should have brought in some money. Have they brought in a cent? So you mean no. there, there's no investment in, in financial in, investment? There is no investment. So why I, are they having it? What's we the used to have, you should have a business plan. Initially, when I submitted the cabinet paper to develop those, we, pre we prepared a business proposal, not something that I prepared. No, we, hired, we hired a uh, top consultant company mm. to prepare it together with our officials, with our inputs. Mm. But it's so unfortunate. Now we say we have 51. But what have we got? And now, these islands, I mean, the islands are with our strategic positioning. Mm. Everyone's eyes are on us. So then, had it been given, I don't know whether it's, I mean, had it been given for a joint venture development mm. for China, suddenly, uh, like in that, at, at that particular moment, had, had they felt that it would have a kind of, uh, uh, raise concerns mm. for the Indians in the first instance they should not have done it we could have developed mm. since it's a sensitive sensitive diplomatic concern mm. now having given it to China if you take it over and give it to India obviously it China is it's a slap to China slap. it's adding injury to insult mm. and it's a cre it's mm. an issue created by us I don't understand why are we so short-sighted? Mm. I don't understand why are we inviting trouble. We have, a, we have enough, we enough, enough, is enough issues on our plate. I, I why are we you. trying to create any more? Now, what we must try and do at this particular moment is to immediately come out of this economic crisis. Economic crisis, when you say it's not a m crisis that we can resolve in midterm, even. No. It's but but a, I, I it's put a, it to you, may, may, Mr. Virakwadi, I put it to you that we get ourselves in these messes uh, from, you know, we never fail the opportunity to get into a mess. That's Absolutely. That, that, yeah. That's the, the. That's the style of governance the, that we see. Style of governance. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. And that's because the people there don't have any depth of understanding they uh, don't understand absolutely now, now look at this crisis today now we are usually Sri Lanka is known as a country that works that has eight hour working hours but now from tomorrow we don't have electricity for 13 hours out of 24 mm. so probably by the new year we might not have electricity throughout the day no, but I know they are and, uh, and, and what and what is wh how did we get there? Now CEB generates electricity at a low at, at a high cost. Government's policy decision has been not by this government. Successive, successive governments yeah. have subsidized. So they had been selling at a loss. So as a result of that the the, the for the uh, diesel uh, fuel oil that they had uh, taken from CPC, they are not being able, able to s pay back. And that debt had been there for like decades. 
Yes, Unfortunately, uh, yeah. during the past few months, one, about five, six months back, the minister decides to stop supply of fuel, fuel oil, black oil, to the CEB. Mm. So this decision is taken few man, months ago. Impact of it doesn't come at that, at, time. That, at that time the decision is taken. But had there been a cabinet, had there been a leadership that could see far, they would have seen the danger. And at least had they listened to us, listened to what we said from outside, mm. coming on media, they would have realized. But they were so ignorant, waited, and now what happened is, you know, the usual price of black oil is about 20% lesser than diesel. Mm. Now, as a result of non-availability of black oil, we are using diesel to generate electricity. So, the, at a high cost, mm. on one hand. On the other hand, CEB, now, we don't look at a, we don't take, look at the problem as a whole. We don't have a holistic approach. What we do is, okay, now CEB says, look here, we are, uh, incurring a loss because we are selling at uh, less, uh, high, higher pr lesser price than the generation cost. So, in order to avoid our losses, generate electricity outside using your generators. Mm -hmm. So, gen electricity that you generate out of fuel oil is cheaper compared to what you generate outside in your generator with mm -hmm. diesel or petrol. Mm -hmm. like when you look at a country, but for CB, as far as CB is concerned, they will say, okay, now our cost is, our loss is minimized because mm. it's generated outside. Yeah. As a result of this, mm. we are like the now since due to null availability of fuel oil, mm. about 2,000 uh, metric tons are being used for generation. Uh, diesel are being used, mm. and mm. then another 2,000 is being used by the private generators and about 1000 is used for petrol mm. and also as a result of this commotion now public transportation issues have come yeah so a lot of people have started using their private vehicles to get to their destination due to non-availability of public transport yeah, as a result yeah. of that again in, uh, use, uh, use of petrol has increased now, so, uh, uh, I mean, uh, as a result of all this, yeah. our loss, our burden yeah. is becoming huge and erosion into our foreign exchange is very high. Yeah, Had uh, the uh, government decided to give priority to import black oil, fuel oil and uh, crude oil, crude oil issue is another one. Mm. Crude oil, when there, there has been a constant supply of crude oil, yeah. suddenly, I don't know who decided, yeah. uh, someone decided to import from Nigeria, but Which they couldn't. They didn't deliver. They didn't deliver. Yeah. And, it, the, and, the, and the, the refinery stopped. And at the same time, we, couldn't, we have not been able to enter into a long-term contract and the prices went up. Mm, so mm. there is a short supply. Generation had we been generating uh, there, mm. we would have had our naphtha, we would have had our fuel oil, we would have had our kerosene, we would have had our uh, jet fuel, we would have had our petrol diesel. All that is not there. As a result of that, the cost has. Now, I w w want to put, you know, this, this is so all a lack of planning, as, yeah. as you've quite uh, so uh, and now as, said. And now what has happened? Result of all that, yet we are not seeing the correct, we are not on the correct no, track. Because no, and we are day, by the day we are losing, and as a result of that, we talk about tourist arrivals, earning out of tourism. Who is the tourist who will think of coming to a country where there is no electricity for 13 hours? I, I know personally a lot of people are packing up and going to countries like Thailand mm. and all the bookings are being cancelled. 
So what are we? Why are we committing harakiri to our own economy? Yes, but then we have we have today uh, the president at this summit. Uh, he said uh, he blamed uh, the bulk of the blame game was put on the COVID-19, uh, and you know all our economic woes he placed at the doorstep of the pandemic. However, some minutes after he spoke, uh, the the leader of Bangladesh spoke and confirmed that in their country they have actually increased they have grown the economy in spite and despite the covid 19. on that sort of anomalous information let's uh, go for a quick break and uh, come back after looking at the headlines for the primetime news we'll see you on the other side shall we News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukutali. 13 other power cuts from tomorrow. No diesel for two days. <laughs> Will bus services come to a grinding halt? People obstruct the road demanding fuel. <laughs> Are ministers oblivious to the woes of the nation? Medicine shortage cripples. Surgeries at hospitals. Three islands denied to China, handed over to India. Will Prime Minister Imran Khan be ousted? News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukutali. And welcome back to Newsline Live. I'm in conversation with Mr. Chandima Virakodi, Member of Parliament. Now, uh, uh, Mr. Virakodi, the Sri Lankan President says most of these problems we are facing is because of the pandemic effect here. The Bangladesh head says, in spite of COVID, acknowledging that there was COVID, but in spite of that, they have grown their economy. Who's right, who's wrong? Are they both wrong? Are they both right? Is one right, one wrong? Well, I must tell you, certainly uh, COVID had an impact on our economy. But at the same time, COVID was not something that we su only suffered. You starting from China, US, India, to Maldives, all the countries suffered from it. But leave aside uh, Bangladesh, look at uh, Maldives, mm. they're all emerging. And first of all, I don't know who advises the president. I'm, pardon me for saying this. Yeah, I, I mean, Delhi? most of what, he, what I mean, they should, before they advise him to address research and advise him. But that would I indicate so that there is some planning. It, but there is the it, Sri Lanka it, it, is bereft of planning. Absolutely. So it, we are seeing it. Hans, I'm very sorry to say we are seeing it and we are go, trying to go by popular you know, we now look at the I mean, let's look at the the, the president says that he is living yeah, occupying his private residence. Mm. He is given official residence just by the side of his office. And that official residence functions. Mm. Staff is there, air conditioning is on, uh, other electricity, electricity is, the bills are paid. Yeah. Just that the president and his wife and maybe if he has pets, their yeah. food is not prepared there. Yeah. But he travels daily four or five times. We see the, the line of security on the street. Yeah. But perhaps I mean, look at the yeah, look at I the see, amount I of vehicles, look at the amount of 
uh, expenditure that he's incurring and the incur the inconvenience that he he's causing so, to so, him. So, what, so what you're saying I is think it's I duplicity. think we must stop not duplicity. We must you know we must be very straight. No, but it is duplicity because they say to us, tighten your belts even yeah. more, right? So what what are they doing? Yeah, they do inject about you, it. Yeah, you must not try to fool people. People are no fools now. No, Those no, no. days, look here. This you can look at it, and why don't you? Why can't he operate from here? And look at the other boons around him. But look at that. The, now I am I have no nothing personal against these people, mm. but we are facing a crisis. All of us who are leaders must show by example that we are cutting down expenditure not to 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 fraudulently mislead anyone in a very transparent logical manner mm. so let's why can i think the president should do that immediately perhaps, then, perhaps and so. and then must get now those days the secretaries secretaries of any ministries entitled to a certain amount of mileage private mileage he's entitled to a certain number of vehicles mm. so look at this yesterday an individual uh, person was telling me he was counting and telling me i'm telling you are we are with the people yeah the number of vehicles used by the defense secretary he was telling me he came in this he came in that he, and today there was an article i don't know this true to air force commander is uh, give um, as important a new brand new vehicle yeah how many do they have he's only they are only department heads yeah look at the army commander how many go in a fleet i mean this should stop i i i, 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 I of course because people I, I find mind. it difficult i, 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 I when we are, we are elected people yeah who are with the people when people don't have the money to eat when people have to queue up for hours to get a pint of kerosene oil yeah this nonsense at the top should stop and if the stop is ready to set up set up an example yeah people will people will follow it but when they see the others like the few Uh, governing and few around them yeah enjoying life they are, they are parading when they are when they people see they are partying it's so unfortunate we will not be able to prevent people from taking to streets no uh, we, yes we as okay. members of parliament no, no, there's another thing we elected by to. the people yeah. we have to stand by the people because we understand how difficult it is for the people now now look at a family yes on the way Yeah, a samurdhi officer called me. He told me with the 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 public servant, the, he has obtained loans and take his take home is only seventeen thousand. He was telling me a kilo of rice is two hundred, gas cylinder is four thousand two hundred, and a kilo of milk powder is thousand nine hundred and fifty. Ten. Liters of petrol for his motor bicycle. All right, so three thousand. So he's asking me, how am I going to survive? Right. Now, let, let, and, 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 to, to and, put an end to yeah. to the people's misery, the, this talk about crossovers, is it for real? What crossovers? We are told that some people will cross over from the ruling party. No cross. Uh, and this, and uh, now the issue is this. This is not a time for politics. crossing from this side to that uh, that side but is it going to happen that that there's no impact people are not concerned about two other crosses which way people want a solution now presently what is expected from the members of parliament is to irrespective of political uh, ally affiliations mm. stand with the people get together resolve people are standing and people on the street with candles candles and and tomorrow and it's apparently going to be even bigger on the weekend yeah so people will because people now with people what people expect of elected members is to stand by them 
give solutions to their problems. Yeah. If there is a handful who doesn't understand this, yeah. it is up to the people's representatives and the people to give that strong message to those who don't understand and put them right or give solutions to the grievances of the people. No, no one, I mean, there's by the day, there's by the day, question. people's grievances, hardships are being uh, are rising up. So, so we, Mr. Rinakudi, several questions. One of them is asking, uh, are you enjoying any spoils of office or any perks? No. I mean, I, I, oh, I, I, all what I get is the salary. Yeah. Other yeah. than that, uh, do you get a do you get a vehicle allowance? No. So vehicle, I think we get about thirty thousand petrol allowance. Right. But the, it's hardly petrol allowance. Yeah. Okay. Now then, all right. Well, that was a question from member the, of the, the public. The, the uh, a no good question. But now then, l answer this question really. Are these crossovers for real, or is it just theatrics on the part of Mr. Virawansa, Mr. Gamampila, uh, Mr. Vasudevananakara on the one side? Uh, the others are all saying, look, we are together. Really? Don't what, you need no, no, a national what, government now? What I'm telling you is we have to have a national, I don't know, I don't know how, how you call it. We don't want, people don't want this government or that government. People want everyone we to want a national get plan. a national plan. They want a national program. Decided by with the because, because the problem is national, national and the solution should, should be, national. be national and and they want everyone to get together, irrespective of whatever differences they have. Hmm. They must get everyone to sacrifice and must point out. That's why I, I had to. I mean, as a elected member, that's why this is how I feel. If I can't tell how what people tell me and how I feel. Yeah. About the president and his official residence issue. This was discussed at various forums with people when I was with various people. So I must tell. And everyone should be able to sacrifice. This is the time for sacrifice. Only upon such commitment, we can all get together and bring our country back to its glory. Otherwise, a, a gentleman, a friend of mine called me from, uh, from Dubai. He was telling me, there are the people ask him, it seems, whether Sri Lanka, in Sri Lanka people are starving, people are dying of hunger, people don't have any hope. He was telling me, I felt like a pauper, the way they were talking about my mm. country. So, I mean, it's... So, it's what's so the solution? What's the solution? The solution is, we have, a, we have to have an immediate solution. Which we is to, what? We, we have to all get together and we have to line up priorities. We have to allocate funds only for topmost priorities and get people first out of hunger. Then we must think of, at the same time, we must think of uh, diversification of but even exports. Uh, but our communications is in, in shambles because some of these yeah. towers, you don't the, have power. No, no, that's, that's the a, generators have got no Yeah, reason. that's what I'm telling you. You must line up your priority. Number one priority, power. Mm. And then when there is power, things will start So, but who will do and this? Who will do the solution? Who? This government, next government, when? No, whoever, now you can't, this is not a time to be talking about a new government. Mm -hmm. People are pissed off this, with this government, that there is no two words about it. But it doesn't mean that we should, you know, call for another government, call for elections. Mm. We must get these people, the president who is now, this president is elected. Yeah. He holds the responsibility. We must get him to do the right thing by the public. But I'm sure he wants to do the right thing. Is he being allowed to do the right thing by, he should. by some, uh, you know, no, Tenchayas in the, the cabinet? The people can say that Tenchaya is trying to run, this bird is trying to do this, that cow is trying to do another one. Yeah. But people have elected an executive president. Hmm. As per the, our constitution is above all of us. Yeah. As per the provisions of the constitution, president is almighty executive president. So he can, so he can ostensibly do. he can get he rid can. of we whoever have, he wants to. We have even today we get blackguarded by people for raising our uh, hands. Yeah. But with the amendment he is given authority. Hmm. Let's deliver in a democratic way. 
Do you think the people's misery will go out soon? Tomorrow is 13 hour power cut. I, I am not in a position to say that because I know how angry people are, how they suffer, how disgruntled they are, how they have lost you know, this, the, this government has lost the mandate of the people now. That's the bottom line. I have to tell you as, a, as an elected member who's with the people, yeah. that is the, the message that I get from all levels of the people whom I meet that the government and who supported me to get elected. Because I am so they are telling you that they, you have lost the mandate now? The government. I, uh, I the must, government has lost the mandate. I must, uh, yes I, or no, Mr. Virapur? Yes, I mean, I, I have to say that loud because that's the voice of the people. And I, as, a, as an elected member for the fourth time mm. by the people, I have always been with the people. I raise my voice for their rights, their expectations, their benefits. But unfortunately, people are now pushed onto the wall. The, I think the answer is then, to, uh, as one of our uh, regular viewers has just said, is to have a fresh election, a fresh mandate. No, well, te well, technically, no, well, technically that, te that should be the, 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 the decision, but unfortunately, the way we don't have paper to print. Now we, have, we have to finish because we're, yeah, uh, we're into, yeah, into yeah, the test, part time news. Test papers yeah. for school children. So at where the, are we at going, at to, where are we going to print time, the election at, at papers? At a time like that, if we try to print election ballot papers, the people will be, yes, the people be on the street. Yeah. Chandra Mirakuri, thank you very much. We are into an overrun situation. Uh, it's now time for the prime time news uh, with uh, Porsche Miyuki. And uh, as always, God Thank bless you very you much for inviting. Thank you. God Thank bless you. you. Bye.